Hey everyone, so today I have both a book review and a giveaway for you. The book review is about Jason Manford's Brung Up Proper and the giveaway is for you to win a signed and dedicated copy of this. So I'll go through the competition and get that out of the way first of all so then we can get in with the review. So to get it hand signed I will actually be going to his book signing tour and I will get it signed for you. I have a copy for myself as well which I might get signed but if the security guards say no you're only allowed one signed then I'll just get yours signed, that's a promise. So this will run from today until the 1st of November which gives you about a week to get back to me with your name once I announce the winner so I can get it dedicated to you. And all you have to do is leave a comment or a video response telling me anything to do with Jason Manford. Now it could be your favourite Jason joke or perhaps how you first discovered his comedy or you know if you have any of his DVDs which ones do you have. Just anything as long as it's something positive to do with Jason. Now I'm going to be using random.org to pick the winner so it doesn't matter what you say, I'm not looking for the best answer or anything, I'm, it's just to give you something to say so the, the video isn't flagged as spam. I will be using random.org but I will be doing both videos and comments so I will let random.org pick whether we're going to have a video winner or a comment winner and then we'll narrow it down that way. So your best chances of winning is doing both a video response and comments or 10 video responses and 10 comments, you know you can do as many as you want just say something different in each one. So that's all you have to do to enter. Um, rules are the basic rules. You must be 16 or over or have parental permission and this one is only open to UK residents I'm afraid. So if you're out with the UK I'm afraid you can't enter. Well you could enter but you can't win. So, But I will be doing another international competition pretty soon so look out for that. But yeah so this will run until the 1st of November. I will not be announcing the winner but I will put the winner's name in the below bar once I've picked the winner and contacted them and that's fine. If you win I will contact you by YouTube message and ask you for whose name you would like dedicated to it and then I'll get it on the 9th for you. And if for some reason I can't get it signed please just understand that there might be you know security guards might be like no go away. But so Upon entering this, you're signing an unwritten agreement that you are still happy to enter even though it may not be signed. But if things go to plan, it will be signed. Yes, so good luck to everybody who enters. You will absolutely love this book. It is absolutely fantastic. It is Jason's first autobiography. Whether or not there'll be another, I don't know. I'd like to think so. And I'll just take off this little sticker. This one was fourteen ninety nine from WH Smith. I actually ordered three copies, not intentionally as such. I'd, um, I've ordered one for a friend from Amazon which was £13 pre-ordered and then I ordered another one for the giveaway because your copy is not actually here that that's going to be signed it will be a brand new copy and that was £11 and then I got this one from Waterstones for £14.99 but I, well, WH Smith sorry it's £13 in Waterstones but it is absolutely fantastic it is a typical autobiography you know there's not it's not like it's more autobiography than it is memoirs as such and I was quite surprised first of all um, I'm holding this because we're going to look at the cover in a minute but I want to say something first of all. I was quite surprised at how little of it focuses on his career as a comedian. I'll compare it to Michael McIntyre's for the record, I actually prefer this to Michael McIntyre's but McIntyre's was brilliant so it, you know, it is sensational. Um, there wasn't that much about his the progression as a comedian, it was more about how he got into the industry and his first sort of baby steps within the industry. There was a lot more of it about his childhood which I really really like. Those are my favourite bits for autobiographies. It doesn't matter whose autobiography it is, the childhood stories are my favourite. So we will look at the cover first of all. This may be a really long video which is why I'm trying to talk really fast because I've got loads of points and loads of different things I want to make so I'm going to try and keep it brief. So the cover is um, absolutely fantastic. You've got like the white wall which I thought was really fascinating and Jason grinning at you on the front. And then I absolutely love this, just like three faces of Jason, kind of bemused, on drugs and rather cheeky, you know, it's kind of really kind of entertaining. The spine itself has the, the gold writing there and the turquoise blue, I love that, and the colour theme is carried across on the inside there, which I just thought was really, really pretty, I really like that. I like books to have a bit of aesthetic to them, I really do like that, and you do have the pictures on the inside. I won't show you all the pictures because I think part of the fun of getting an autobiography and reading through it is seeing the pictures. But I just want to show you one. You bear with me while I find it. Um, oh, there it is. That's just the cheekiest little thing ever. You can tell he's definitely not changed. That's him there. His brother. But he's really not changed. I just thought it was really cute. Um, yeah, so it does go through his childhood and it, as you'd expect from a comedian, it is very, very funny. 
and I've got some points to take you through. I had, I was, as I was reading it, I was scribbling down loads of different things I wanted to mention. And in the end, I had about like six pages this size of just notes. And as you can see, I've scored out loads of stuff. I was just like, I can't give you that much information. I can't ruin it for you. But I just want to take you through a couple of points which really stood out for me. If you really don't want to know anything about what's inside the book, then, you know, stop watching this video just now. Go and, you know, make a cup of tea, buy the book, go and read it and then come back. I actually bought this on Thursday. I got it at about 5, it was, it was 5 o'clock on Thursday because I rushed to the shops to get it. And I finished it yesterday, which was Friday, at about 11 o'clock at night. So it took me just over 24 hours to read it. But obviously that wasn't solid reading. I did have my life to live, unfortunately. In between that, well, I'd much rather have just been reading the book. But it was absolutely fantastic and it did take me a day to get through it. And it is just so unput downable, which is not a word, but never mind. Okay, so the first thing I want to say, there's a couple of quotes I'm going to lift directly from the book. The first one is on page 44, and Jason says, What is football if not a big male soap opera full of heroes, villains, and last-minute heart-raising script changes? Um, I suppose that's kind of a good analogy there in the way, you know, we women and some men love their soaps, we really do, but then we complain about men liking football so much and we don't understand it, yet we will not miss Coronation Street. I suppose we could say football is their soap, if they really wanted to say that. He does talk about football in this a lot, which to me, if somebody had said to me, Jason talks a lot about football in his autobiography, I'd be like, oh, not a fan of football. But he does it with passion and he does it with hilarity and you kind of forget that football is the main subject. Now if you're a football fan, that's fine. I'm not. But it is very entertaining the way he talks about it. I do find that brilliant. The anecdotes that come with the football stories are, you know, they're pretty funny. Um. On page 61, there's a very brief mention of putting a cat in a washing machine. I was like, what? I'm not going to tell you the context that I'll let you read it. Even if you just go to a shop and pick up and go to page 61, do read it. But it's, I was just like, don't ever put a cat in the washing machine, please. I'm a huge, crazy cat lady. So for me, that was like, ah. Um, page 62, there was something really interesting. Jason says, I don't know why teachers did this, just knock on each other's doors at random intervals throughout the day. Maybe they were bored with their own kids. Now, if you're still in school, or you've just came out of school, or even if you were at school 50 years ago, you'll know that teachers, when you're in the middle of a class, will knock on another teacher's door and just go in and have a conversation with them. And you're just thinking, hello, I'm in the middle of a lesson here, we're trying to learn, go out. Really irritated me when another teacher would come in and interrupt our teacher in a lesson. On page 68, there was a double negative. He says, nobody said nothing. And that really irritated me. And it, not that I don't want to read this book anymore, but I ha I've got a little... I'm a grammar Nazi, basically. I don't like misuse of grammar. I don't know if that double negative was intended or not. Um, if it wasn't, meh. But it was... Um, yeah, I just thought I, I pointed that out because I'm a bit of a grammar Nazi. Um, page 77, this one I really liked. As I said, I'm not going to tell you all the funny things because we'd be here all day. But I just have to say this one. Um, I'm not going to give you the context. I will let you read it and find out. But he says, every time she pressed it, it sounded like somebody had stood on a duck. Now, I'm not going to tell you what she pressed. And I'm not going to tell you why it sounded like a duck. But um, that made me laugh quite a lot. Um, chapter 7 from page 92 to 102, focuses on nothing more than Jason's penis and kissing. Not necessarily together, but I really did enjoy that chapter quite a lot. Um, you can read that for yourself, that was probably one of my favourite chapters in the whole thing. Page 107, page, page 107 really made me think, I'm giving you these pages just so you can relate to what I'm saying if you're near that part of the book just now or anything. Um, he, I quote, um, went from the guy doing swapsies saying need, need, need to saying got, got, got. In there he's talking about um, panini stickers. And you'll know exactly what I'm on about if you're a kid from the 90s or the 80s, uh, maybe even just now actually, where you collect football stickers. I didn't, I collected like, doc, like not Doctor Who stickers, would have been Pokemon stickers, yes. Or something like that and you're the kid who has maybe one packet every month and you have loads and loads and loads of room in your book and you still need them and all the kids at school have big piles of swapsies and you're like I need all of those but I don't have anything to swap so it just kind of made me think generations maybe don't change that much I mean there's 11 years between Jason and I he was 81 I'm 92 and I mean 11 years you'd think things would change dramatically in the playground but no um I find that quite interesting. I also found out that he learned, he studied German at school, which was nice. Um, Guten Tag, Jason. Ich liebe du. Um, really loved that bit there, um, the, the panini sticker bit. 
I also found out that he was teetotal, which I didn't know, and I don't really want to say I'm surprised by that, because I don't want to sound offensive, but I was surprised by that, and I don't know why I was surprised, I just didn't expect to hear, to read that. Um, I am teetotal through no, no religious reasons or anything, I just don't see the point in drinking, it's a waste of money, negative calories, totally pointless, um, empty calories even, don't really care for that. Um, chapter 23, I'm not really going to tell you what it's about, but it was probably the most, the, the darkest chapter in the book. It still had tiny bits of humour in there, but it did sort of make us realise, you know, yes, Jason is very funny and he's hilarious as a comedian, but he is human and he still does have negative patches in his life, not everything is hunky-dory. Um, there was a slight twinge of a depressive personality there, like when the chapter was about, which I, I, I kind of sympathise with, I do have sort of things in my life which are rather depressive, um, won't go into those, this is about Jason, not me, but I did sort of sympathise with him a little bit, for different reasons, but um, yeah. Then, on page 301, the page, the book has 308 pages, so I thought this was a very good thing to sort of give me one of my final thoughts. He says, just because you have no sight does not mean you can't see. Now, I'm not going to tell you why he said that, I will let you read it and find out, but I just thought that's perfectly right. Um, so even though you have no physical sight, it doesn't mean you can't see, it doesn't mean your thoughts aren't insightful and things like that. Now, you do have to really read that book to put that in context and understand what I'm on about, but it was absolutely sensational. There are, surprisingly, a lot of motivational quotes in here, which I didn't expect from it. But it is absolutely sensational. This video has gone on for a lot longer than what I thought it would be, and that's only a quarter of the notes I'd initially made. I could go on and on and on. I really, really do love this. Go and pick up yourself a copy, or if you want to wait until if you're entering the competition, good. Or you could go and buy a copy and then enter the competition and then win yourself a signed copy and then, you know, sell yours on. So good luck to everybody who is answering the answering, entering the competition. If you do have any questions about the competition, please message me. I'd rather you didn't just leave random comments below, unless you're asking it. So say, my favourite Jason Manford joke is, yada yada, and then, oh, Amy, and then ask the question. Just so it doesn't get spammed with non-entries. Um, but yeah, so good luck to everybody who's entering. Um, anybody who's read the book or is going to be reading it or wants to read it, go and buy it. Don't wait for it to be in the library because libraries are really slow and take forever to get hold of it. Do go and get it. It is absolutely brilliant. I loved it a lot more than I thought I was going to do. I'm very looking forward to November 9th actually because his book signing is in is um, in Newcastle and then he's gigging that night and I'm going to both. So I'm quite excited. Um, I'm a child. Yeah, but please feel free to leave co comments on Brung Up Proper. Good luck to everybody entering the competition and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.